Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Uh, I've been messing around with uh, this little this little driver here with a MOSFET. Uh, I've used it in uh, quite a few of my other videos. And uh, I'm running this ignition transformer okay, out of a vehicle, out of a car. And I'm getting some really nice outputs from it. I've been messing around with the potentiometer on my uh, circuit and I've got it to absolutely perfect output. Now I'm putting about 16 volts into this unit and you should see the corona off this thing. It's absolutely mental. It really is. I've tried it on that transformer first and get quite a nice output from that. And then I tried it on this one. Now I'm going to have to show you this because it's pretty cool. Let me turn this light out. And uh, just to let you know as well guys, uh, this is going to be uh, one of my last videos don't worry, I'm not uh, deleting my account. <laughs> you know, as you all know, I'm going on holiday, and uh, so I'm not going to be able to make any videos until I get back. And when I get back, I might uh, share. I don't know whether or not to put any videos onto my um, onto this channel because uh, of my holiday. You know, of anything interesting because of my this channel really is is, is really just for high voltage. But uh, if any of you do want to want me to uh, show any uh, footage of uh, me holiday, anything that's interesting, that's worth putting onto uh, onto me uh, channel. But I'm not going to put anything that's going to be boring. Any video, anything that's going to be pretty interesting, like uh, the jet engines or taking off, or if I see any um, pole pig transformers on holiday, or seeing any strange insects or anything that's unusual or somebody dying <laughs> so uh, if you would like me to share anything like that when I do come back then uh, you know if I get a good response then I'll uh, I'll upload something but I don't normally as a rule put anything like that on this on this channel because as you know it's for uh, high voltage or anything getting destroyed like a building or something but anyway so it's going to be over a week. I fly on Monday, and uh, I'm going. For, I'm going for seven days um, to the Canary Islands. If uh, any of you are wanting to know where I go, if any of you are pretty interested, um, and uh, I've got my brother staying at my house, so he's going to be looking after my house and my doggies. So that's quite nice of him. So anyway, let's get back to the video and uh, see some output from this transformer. It's pretty cool. Let's draw the curtains up. Make it a bit more darker so you can see. Got a corona guy. Test me MOSFET. <sighs> Bloody hell, that is getting warm. That's a 50 amp pretty MOSFET and all IRFP 250. <laughs> Sorry, IRFP. Well, it's not an IRFP, what the hell? Well, that's a G4PF503. Sorry, G4PF50WD. I think it's a 50 amp that one is actually thinking about it but it's not, I normally do use the IRFP 260Ns which I think that one is yeah that's an IRFP 260N don't know why I said 50 though but uh, yeah that's alright but did you see the output from that 16 volts unbelievable should we watch that again that yeah, cool let's try it with a Let's try it with this one actually first. Try it with an IRFP 260 and see what the output is from that. 
really am missing around, missing, messing around with my high voltage transformers though. The X-ray transformers and stuff. Cannot wait to bloody move and get sorted out. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, and some of you asked um, about the demolition about the other buildings. The only buildings that are being knocked down is the ones with them blue roofs. So, and it's being knocked down because it's old and it's uh, the uh, the buildings just unsafe completely it's just I mean it's about 20 years old so I mean normally a building does last longer than 20 years but that building itself is actually um, just what needed to be knocked down right let's try it on this one ooh seems to be a better, out, better output than the other one that one Oh no, the other one's definitely better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my wire's getting up there. It's definitely better than the MOSFET. Because these, um, I did actually look at the data sheet of these ones, and these are extremely fast switching. On a 1 to 10, the IRFP 260Ns, on a 1 to 10, probably 7 or 8 at speed of switching. One of these, 10. Extremely good MOSFETs. Uh, i trying to think where I found these. I think I found them in a welder, if I remember rightly. Very good. I've got about, I think I've got about 10 of these. Between 8 and 10 of them. Let's connect that one back up. So yeah, if uh, you ever do find anything pretty interesting on holiday guys, I will most definitely record it. I'm definitely going to try and see if I can video those lovely jet engines. I love the way them start up. And see if I can get any good footage of uh, taking off. Right, let's try this one again. They do get warm pretty quick though, these do. I might get a load of these in parallel linked up because I read that one at one point I'm going to stick this into a project box with a really good heat sink inside of it and uh, do those traces underneath and then make them thicker and stuff I need to actually see if I can do a diagram of this because um, HDXFH Larry um, he was asking about this circuit I mean originally I got this circuit off eBay and it had the, the little tiny ferrite transformer just there and uh, and it's little uh, multiplier just here, and it gave a just a little bit of an output, and I uh, I hacked it, and uh, you know use it as it's got the potentiometer there and the two little uh, MPN transistors just here. <clears throat> Did have a diode there, but I swapped it for that diode because the other diode used to get extremely hot, and eventually it just cracked and come apart. So, yeah, if at one point I will do the diagram for this on a bit of paper and see if I can share it with you guys when I get a minute. Right, let's try, th try that again, shall we, guys? Oh, yeah, see what I mean? Extremely good output though that is for an ignition transformer. Jesus, how much ozone in here? 
Bloody hell, that is some serious output. Is Transformer warm? No. A little bit warm. It's not hot. Oh, actually, sorry, saying that, guys, um, just, I've, just, I've just remembered. Hopefully, Saturday, I will go to the scrapyard. So that may be my final video until I get back and sort it out. So, fingers crossed it's a nice day and I can do a video for you. Yeah, bloody an amazing circuit, though, this is. Really good. Runs these ignition transformers. Fantastic. So... Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, I'm really sorry I should have said watch your volumes because I bet that was interfering with the microphone of the camera, so I do apologise about that. So thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, be safe please, watch what you're doing, and uh, speak again, bye.